Hey up YouTube, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part 17 of my Final Fantasy 7 No Random Encounters Challenge. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, the first part of this video is going to be very, very story based. So if you already know the story and would rather just see me fuck up some bosses, then the time to skip to in the video will be on your screen now. After defeating Genova for the millionth time, it drops the Black Materia. Tifa suggests giving it to someone to keep safe, so naturally, we decide we're going to give it to one of the only characters without opposable thumbs. As we make our way deeper into the whirlwind maze, we... Hang the fuck up. this doesn't look right. We're shown an illusion of Nibelheim. Barrett asks Cloud if he's been on the wacky backy before the opening events of the Nibelheim incident start to take place. This time though, it's not Cloud walking up to the gates with old Sefi, but a dude with some black spiky hair. It's also not Cloud that comes out of the Shinra mansion either. Sephiroth shows up and tells Cloud that he was in fact constructed by Hojo and that he is a failed Sephiroth clone. If it's not already hit you on the head by this point, you should be starting to realise that Tifa has been lying to Cloud this entire time and that these aren't the real events of what happened five years ago. And if you're still sat on the fence about it all, just take a look at the picture that was taken just before they set out on the path up to the Nibelheim reactor. After this, we get a scene with Hojo, Rufus and Scarlet, and Rufus seems to think he's found the promised land which Hojo instantly laughs off, claiming it's just a silly old superstition. Right on cue, sensing the planet is in crisis, the weapons start to stir. Red 13 then stupidly falls for the oldest trick in the book when Tifa appears telling him that Cloud's in trouble and to follow her. What he doesn't realise though is that it's actually Sephiroth. What a pudding. The real Sephiroth then appears in his crystallised Marco ball. Red 13 gives the black materia to Cloud, who then gives it to the real Sephiroth, and shit is about to go down. This was the real Sephiroth's plan all along. Cloud and the gang thought they were following Sephiroth, but as it turns out, it seems Sephiroth was the one actually pulling the strings and calling Cloud to him, thanks to the Genova cells in Cloud's body. We're then greeted with another badass cutscene of the gang escaping the northern crater on the high wind and the weapons finally awaking to go and f*** up. We're then taken to Junin, where it seems Tifa has been in a coma for a week, the whole planet is about to die, and the gang are about to be publicly executed as a result of Meteor being summoned thanks to Cloud, who is nowhere to be found. As Tifa and Barrett march their deaths, Tifa is the first one to go, and is thrown into a gas chamber by Scarlet. Before it can happen though, Sapphire Weapon shows up and is heading towards Junin. He charges into Junin, which inadvertently turns the gas on in the chamber. Barrett and the now undisguised Kate Sith make their way over to the airport, finding Yuffie posing as a TV reporter for some reason in the process. We then play a little mini game with Tifa, trying to unlock herself from the chair in the chamber, before Weapon attacks Junin again, and conveniently slices a gap in the gas chamber room for Tifa to climb out of. The big Junin cannon fires and blows Sapphire Weapon to pieces. We're then treated to a cat fight between Scarlet and Tifa. You bitch. 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 Before Barrett shows up in the high wind to rescue her. With the gang all aboard the stolen Shinra airship, it's time to start the search for our buddy Cloud. Now, before we make our way over to Medeal, there's a glitch in this game that allows you to get a really powerful piece of materia called Quadra Magic without the use of a chocobo. Having said that though, when I did it and I got onto the island, I couldn't move Tifa and it softlocked me out of the game so I had to reload. I was trying this for about half an hour and sadly the game just wasn't playing ball so I thought f*** it. Did you find this as hard as I did? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, after pissing about with this for far too long, we make our way over to Medeal where we can give this chocobo a green, scratch it behind its ears and obtain the contained materia. Tifa then stops to pet a stray dog and overhears a conversation between a couple of locals talking about a pokey-headed thing that was washed up on the beach about a week ago. Turns out it is in fact our buddy Cloud, but he's in bad shape. The doctor here tells the gang that he has a severe case of Marco poisoning and is surprised he's even still alive. Ah well, nothing a little blowy won't fix, eh Tifa? After the impromptu suck job, Tifa decides that she's going to stay with Cloud until he's better, meaning that not only are we two party members down, but Barrett has decided that we're going to have to rely on Sid to lead us in the interim. Kate Sith has informed us that Shinra are attempting to gather something called the Huge Materia, and the plan is to fire it at Meteor. Now, while you'd think that that is a sound plan on the surface, by destroying the Materia in this way, the knowledge and the power from the planet would be lost forever. Meaning that if Shinra's plan were to fail, the planet would stand absolutely zero chance of trying to fend off Meteor. We learn that the first piece of Huge Materia is in the Coral Reactor, so we hot-tail it over there to grab it. Great then, YouTube. Here we are in Mount Coral. We are just about to go and try and stop Shinra from taking the huge materia in the Mount Coral reactor. Apologies for the very long recap video in the story section, but I still think it's quite important. I still think it's really quite important at this stage of the game to sort of let you know what's going on within the story if you've never played the game before. But yeah, here we are, Mount Coral. We're just about to go into the... 
it's not necessarily a boss battle, but there's a sequence of battles here in order to get the first chunk of huge materia. As you've seen, Cloud is now a little bit of a vegetable. We've got Sid as the party leader for a bit. Um, we've not used Sid for a bit. In fact, I don't think we've really used Sid at all. So, yeah, we're just about to go and take on this gauntlet of bosses on the Coral Road Track train. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what we've done with the characters and we'll show you what we've done. So, let's go, first of all, to Sid. Um, he has got the Javelin, which has got double, uh, double Materia growth and it's also got some nice uh, Materia slots as well. Uh, we kept him with the Gold Armor. We've also given him the Protect Ring, which we picked up. Purely because Sid is hasn't been used an awful lot, I, I think buffing his um, physical, well, having barrier and M barrier equipped equipped on him might be might be good for this gauntlet. Um, Barrett and Yuffie are pretty pretty much the same. I've just given Yuffie the poison ring. Um, I'm not really sure why, but I just wanted to put something on her. Um, if we look at the materia, so Sid, we've given added cut and ice. Um, so we picked up added cut um, in the Great Glacier. That just basically means that if he does end up using the ice spell, um, he'll also attack straight afterwards. Um, so we've given him that. We've also given him Fire and Elemental, just to add a little bit of an ele elemental element to his weapon. Um, Chocomog. The reason that we put Chocomog in here is for a little bit later on down the line. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll explain that when we get there. We, ju we, we just need a little bit more AP and get to get Chocomog some levels up. So that's why we've given him Chocomog. Uh, we've also given him, uh, you know, some... Some right, okay. So we've given him long range and HP plus because he's probably the one that's got the most strength at this point without cloud. So being able to put him in the back row, we, we give him the long range materia, HP plus, uh, enemy skill, and uh, counter attack. Moving on to Barrett, I've not touched anything from Barrett from the last boss fight, so everything here with Barrett is exactly the same, so I don't really think there's much point in me. I mean, I'll just hover over him so you can see, but I don't really think there's much point in me in me telling you exactly what we've done with Barrett. Um, Yuffie, all Yuffie's materia um, just somehow left there, so I had to re-equip her with, with, with things. So we've given her barrier and all, poison and added effect, Destruct enemy skill, like that, that tiny enemy skill we've got that's only got Aqualung. We've also given her Neo Bahamut Steel Contain, which we've just picked up from that little Chocobo in uh, Medeal. Um, that is a cracking piece of magic materia, which we're going to be using moving forward. And an HP+. Plus. Now, Steel's going to be important here. I can't quite remember which of the gauntlet bosses that it is, but one of them has a Warrior Bangle, I think, which we're gonna need which is gonna be really well not really important but it's gonna be nice to have moving forward so we've given Yuffie steel just so we can uh, hopefully uh, steal that from um, one of the from one of the weapons uh, one of the uh, um, enemies on this um, train gauntlet right then so let's crack on Right, well, first things first, we need to polish off these uh, Shinra soldiers. This shouldn't take me too long. Hopefully, I'm kind of just think I'm just going to attack these buggers. Hopefully, Sid will wake up and... Um... Yep, whenever you're ready, Sid, you can wake up, please, mate. Because I'm really not going to bother expending MP for this. I don't see the point. There we go. There's one. Come on, Sid, wake up, you pudding. Come on. I always hate these really little, smaller ones. Because they just seem to take forever when they really, really don't need to. There we go, right. Okie doke. Off we pop. Choo choo, mother f I 
should be one coming on that we can jump on now then, shall we? Oh no, we have to run inside and grab one, don't we? <laughs> Alright, here we are. Right, reminder to... I'm just going to steal from everything because I can't remember quite which one it is. Catch up to this train. Come on. Oh, nearly there. There we are. Right. Here we go. Right, let's kick some ass. Right, first things first. Um, okay. I can't remember what this bugger does, so... Or what this bugger has. Bloody hell, that hurt. Um... Nothing to steal. Okay, that's fine. I'm wondering if maybe we can just keep attacking. And hopefully this just this just goes off without a hitch. Okay, wow, Jesus fucking Christ. Cure her, please. Thank you. I mean, I have got the MP. I suppose I probably could, but again, I kind of want to use it for the ones that are a little bit more... Would you stop it? Oh, I could have used Clear Tranquil then, couldn't I? Right, first one's done. Lovely stuff. Moving on. Next! What we got? Oh, it's just two of them. Okay, that's fine. Okay, maybe now might be a good time to use some area of effect stuff. So let's use Choco Mog. Uh, you can attack. Barrett, you can... I'm going to get you to cure you, Fee. Okay. Yeah, Choco Mog becomes really, really quite insignificant at this point. But there is a reason why I'm trying to level, level it up. And you'll see why in a few videos' time. Uh, Sid, what can you do now? No, you can just keep attacking. Oh, actually, uh, you can... Okay, Barrett. Big shot. You big bugger. Come on. Boom! How is he not dead? How is he not dead? There we go. There's one. I said I was going to start using some area of effect stuff, and I, and I am. Uh, cure. You can cure yourself, mate. Paralyzed. How is he paralyzed? Oh, it's from Choco Mob. Come on, keep going. Should nearly be there now. Two? How dare you? I've also just realized that I haven't sadnessed them. Oh, sh. I might f up here. Oh no. Right. Oh, is it this? I think it might be this that has the um the warrior thing. Warrior bangle. Uh Barrett. Uh you can nothing to steal, or maybe it's not. Um okay. You just cure him. Uh, Sid. We might actually have to start getting you to do some shit. Um no, maybe not. You be. Barrier, please. Barret. Magic. Cure. You know what? Just cure everybody. Sid, attack. Who is it that's got the warrior bangle, then? There's one. There's, there's something on here that has got something really quite nice. It might be the last one. And I've just realised I've only got six minutes left. I need to get a f***ing wriggle on. 
I completely forgot there was a timer here. I need to get a fucking pickle on. Um, what else can I do here? Do you reckon I should start doing some... Yeah, but then again, summons just take so long as well. Right, Barrett's got a limit, so hopefully that should help. How many have I done now? Is, is this number three or number four? This is number three, in it. I think there's one more after this. No, sorry, there's one. And then just they're really shit at the end. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this. I really don't know if I'm going to do this. <laughs> Alright, Barrett. What can you do now? Okay. I'm really, really going to have to start doing something else here, I think. I, can, I genuinely actually completely forgot there was a time limit here. Oh my Christ. Oh dear. Right, okay. Alright, okay. No, we're good. We're good. Right, we're okay. We're okay. We're alright. Bloody hell, that's a lot of experience. Right. Okay. Off we pop. It's this thing, in it, that's got the warrior bangle. Right. First things first, you can do, Barrett. I want you to cure the fuck out of everybody. Uh, then, Sid, I want you to try and please, because I know this is weak to electricity. Uh, Yuffie, then I want you to steal. It's got to be this. It's got to be this that's got the warrior bangle. Right, Barrett. Uh, enemy skill, please. Try and... Sid, enemy skill. Try and... Yuffie, steal. Barrett, big shot. Okay, if I don't end up getting the warrior bangle, I suppose it's not the end of the world, but I really do want the ultimate materia. Come on. Right. Uh, enemy skill. Oh, Christ alive. Enemy skill. Uh, trine. Enemy skill. Trine. Steal. Enemy skill. Oh, fuck. Hell. Come on. Steal it, please. Try and steal it. Steal it. Oh, Yuffie is actually sadness at this moment in time. Oh, my God. What are you doing? What? Oh my! Oh, I gotta stole the warrior bangle. Christ! I've got like two minutes left. Please die! Please die! Thank you. Right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry, my controller bugged out then, and it wasn't working. Right, off we, off we pop. Right. Okay, I kind of now... I kind of now just need to... Right, I've got a minute and... Th oh my god, I don't know if I'm going to do this. Right, all guns blazing on everything here. Right, beta. Uh trine oh my god now I've, and then i've actually got to stop the train as well anna i don't think i'm gonna do this oh thank for that right okay so i got the warrior bangle right okay everything's good come on i've got a minute i've got a minute come on i've got a minute come on come on let's go 
Yep, yep, okay, shut up, Sid. Come on. Yes, alternative. Levers alternatively, right. Right. I can't remember how to do this. Left lever up. Menu. Oh my Christ. It's just getting faster. What the fuck is going on? Please don't crash into North Coral. Oh, thank f for that. We've received the huge materia. We did that. We did actually do that without any of them being sadnessed either. Which wow. I'm a bit speechless after that. I genuinely didn't think I was going to do that at that point. That was a really, really close call. But we've got the huge materia. So you come back in just a nanosecond. And we will take on the next offering of this episode. We'll be right back. After grabbing our first piece of huge materia and stopping the runaway train from destroying Coral, we're given the most powerful piece of magic materia in the game, Ultima. This cannot be used straight away and needs to level up at least once before we can start using it, so we equip it straight away. We then make our way over to Fort Condor to grab the next piece of huge materia. This forces you into the Fort Condor minigame. Now, in the original, I absolutely hated the Fort Condor minigame, but in the remake, it's actually not too bad. Let me know in the comments below which version you prefer. Now, as we don't have an awful lot of guild to set the units, and the fact that you get the huge materia regardless, we let the enemy come and attack our base, where we're treated to a mini-boss battle with the Grand Orn for a little experience boost. We then get a little cutscene of the Condor dying, and a new one hatching out of the egg it's been sitting on, before we're able to collect the Phoenix Summon materia. With two pieces of huge materia in hand, Sid suggests heading back over to Medeal to check on our buddy Clark. Right then, YouTube, here we are, back in Medeal. We are just about to take on, well, it's kind of a boss, but not really at the same time. So we're just about to take on Ultima Weapon. Now, provided you actually don't die in this, you, you can't lose because Ultima Weapon just flies off. Uh, I'm not going to bother showing you the materia because it's exactly the same for everybody from the train gauntlet. But what I have done this time, which I completely forgot to do last time, is just put sadness on everybody just so they'll take less damage from the ultima weapon so fingers crossed all we need to do is just survive this as long as we don't get a game over and ultima weapon flies off we're all good so let's crack on and see how we do Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. Um. Oh, my God. Why did that do so much damage to Yuffie? Oh, shit. The fucking bed. Right. Um. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. Elixir on Barrett. Barrett. Um. Cure everybody. Aren't you? Fuck. Um. What? Wow! Oh my god! What the fuck is going on here? Oh my god! Yuffie's dead. I haven't got any Phoenix Downs. Oh Jesus! Wept. I've really not thought this through. Oh, he's taking off. Oh, man, I am so glad that didn't go on for any longer. And the fact that nobody gets any APR experience for this anyway is fantastic. So the fact that Yuffie died is irrelevant. <laughs> if you have enjoyed the episode, guys, please do remember to leave a nice big thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel for more Final Fantasy VII content. And don't forget to check that little notification bell to let you know when these videos do go live for you. 
I do also now have a buy me a coffee page, so if you would like to support the channel in another way, you can click the link in the description below. And if you want to see what's happened in the series so far, you can check out this playlist right here. My name's Matt, better known as the Yorkshire Gamer, and thank you very much for watching.